Hi everyone, this is Eric with VBAHowTo.com. It's the same Eric on the VBAString.com, but I have two different websites, one Access and one uh, Excel. This one, in this video, we're talking about how to make an Access report based on form input. Okay, so if I have a, I have my table base out of my table and in my in my table I have all this data and information and stuff and here I've selected <clears throat> this and this and this and then I produce a report and I get the report this is a basic report tell me it's and the report is different every time I make a different selection so that one has this building and it's going to be management practice and produce report so here i have this building and so it's all going to be it's all going to be different so i'm going to show you how to how to, how to replicate this again you can go to vbhowto.com and i have the code out there and i believe i have the the database or otherwise you can make a comment in the description box below say i want the database and while I'm thinking about it, uh, make sure you subscribe and click the bell notification. Subscribe to this channel, click the bell notification to be made known of all the videos I release when I release them. And make sure that you click the like button. Okay, click the like button. So, and all that uh, would help the channel a whole lot. So, thanks ahead of time. Now, uh, the again, I showed you showed you this basic. Okay, whenever I make the selection, we requery these these boxes down here, these other combo boxes, and then based on these, we formulate a, a SQL string, and by clicking this button, we use the open open report event to uh, to transfer to read the values on FRM parameters and to put them in a SQL statement and we use it as a record source, record source for this year report. So let's look at the code behind the scenes here. Alternate F11. Okay, for the this the form, F, form FRM parameters. Okay, after the, <clears throat> the finding is generated, the finding we have a uh, finding uh, CBO find of land of CBO finding ID. We we're going to requery those boxes, the uh, the building box. So if we do select the building or a finding, uh, we select the building number and the finding ID. <clears throat> we're finding ID equals the finding ID, and otherwise we go ahead and select all the buildings. And um, we're setting the record source, set the row source equal to that SQL string. Okay, so rather than binding it to a query, we created just a bunch of text. We put a bunch of text in the in the row source and, uh, whenever we make the selection. So again, we do the same thing with building. And we use this after update event. After update event, because when you click that we make a selection change we fire the after update event and then when i click the the button the bt and produce report i open do command open report with the report name and i don't want to print it so i want to preview it first like okay, i say paper and uh be nice and you know, to those to those <laughs> be nice to your printer Okay, I open up a preview. Then you can go ahead and you hate to put in a work in progress, and then all of a sudden you're printing up all these sheets or duds. You know, preview them first. So we have a find ID, we have building number, and then we go ahead and shoot the report out. Uh, now, oh, behind the scenes here, I'm going to show you behind the scenes here. Okay, if you look behind the scenes, you see 
this fires on the that's it of my other screen here okay we have the rose source the rose source type it stays the same and you really don't need to make this setting because it kind of it saves the value we're just writing these at whenever we're running it we assign the the row source and uh, we're good to go and after update okay we're assigning an event procedure and after update whenever I click the triple dots I have the finding ID and so back here we have again you can see all this and event procedure I don't really have one on here because uh, I don't need it I don't need it but now on the button I just opening the report could just kind of the what I told you previously all right now if I close Clo well, actually, I want to. I want to say yes, but I really didn't want to close the format. Okay, so so uh, whenever the report is loaded, let's go to the report and find out what happens. Okay, I'm using like I said before, I'm using the report open, and I can program these arguments, but I'm not in this video. The, the main, the basic part of this is the, uh, it's going to be, okay, we're going to load, uh, change the record source based on whatever we made the selection. So in order to do that, we have to use a, a hard query or a lightweight to say a bunch of text. So why not use the text? Select all from TBL report data. Okay, we're selecting for the table. Uh, and, or you can select from a query if you want. Okay, go go ahead and do that if you need to. If you want to be more secure about it. If not, here I'm formulating the, the where. Here I'm formulating the just the SQL string. And here I'm formulating the where part. Okay. And here I'm putting them all together. I'm joining them all together down here at the bottom. Here I'm saying, okay, if it's not blank... If it's not blank, find ID if it's not blank. And notice I, here I use the, the the object. I'm looking at the form, the forms collection, the form uh, form object, the control, and what control am I looking for? And then the finding ID equals whatever the value is, whatever whatever the value is on my on my form. And if and so I'm sticking that as the first where, and then the next one, number two, is saying, well, was a build number selected? Well, if a build number was selected, then I, of course, I use the and prefix, and then, and then rating. Okay. And. Okay, here here's where I have to I have to clean it up, clean the it's your word string because I may have I may have selected, I may have made a made the selections and um, and then I have the and still as the prefix. Well, I want to get rid of that because it'll mess up my string. Where and doesn't doesn't make for good SQL and so I have to clean it up. And here's where I clean up. If I test it. I said it's the left part of the string. I look for the the and prefix, the space and, and then I go ahead and clean it up. I disk the mid. I don't need a final argument here. So this is nice, but axis is that I can the mid the mid string just takes mid start at the fifth character and of the where, and then I stick them both together, and there I have my record source. I assign it all to my record source. So, my advice, go out to vpahowto.com, get the database, and you could step through it and uh, look for it yourself. If I don't put it out there, if I haven't put it out there yet, make sure you leave, the, uh, leave it in the comment section below. Add your questions down there.
if you have questions about this. And uh, that's about all. Make sure that you like and subscribe, and also, uh, yeah, click. I'll uh, be able to. Uh, I'll be. I'll be more than willing to help you out with your questions if you leave them below. Talk to y'all soon. Bye.